Okay, Rainier, I'm gonna help us put together our 3D globe assignment. So, oh, after you have it all cut out, oh, we're going to tape it together. You'll notice I have panel one, two, three, four, five. It, it's all colored based on the different plates. One thing that you should do is you should add the name of these different plates. This one over here, North American plate. Hey, hey, you can search plate tectonics and you'll get an image that looks like this and you'll be able to put on the names all I have it up in class. So what we're gonna do is you'll notice this says glue to panel two. So we're gonna glue it to panel, this one's panel two. It's kind of an odd shape. It's a hard thing to think to go from 2D to 3D. But what we're gonna do is so we're gonna do this side one first. So this one says glue to panel five. Panel five's way over here. Here, I don't recommend glue, it doesn't work too well, so we're gonna use tape. So, kinda have to flip it over. So there's panel five, here's panel uh, one, and this says glue to panel five. So you'll put it right under there. There, you'll try to line it up. You'll notice our earthquakes along the plate boundary, three, kinda matches up there, there. It is going to be difficult. Take your time when you're taping it. Taping it so it looks good. Good. So there it's matched up. Going to put another little piece of tape over here. Here. So now it could kind of roll. Now what we need to do is we need to close the top of the globe and the bottom of the globe. So this one says glue to panel one. This one's panel one. So I'm just going to kind of do what I can to line it up there. The more you line it up, the better it folds and you'll just kind of go around folding and taping. And then it's going to turn into more of that sphere shape that we know the globe to be. And then you'll do the bottom side. Once you're done with creating the globe, don't forget to answer the questions on Google Classroom.